Hello, hello, my YouTube family. Hello. Just a quick word, some quick words of advice, especially to the younger generation. And to mostly, most of motherless children. Okay. In the, sometimes because mommy not around to guide us or to protect us when we were young, things happen in our life. And many, many young people go through this. I went through it in my teens, things that I did not plan for. My ambition in life was to become a nurse. That's what I hope and dream of. But sad to say it didn't happen. Why? Because I lost my mom at a very tender age, at the age of five years old. So think about it, losing your mom so young. They said motherless children have a hard time into this world and it's a fact. It's true. But I'm not here to debate on that. I'm here to encourage someone who have been through a lot of abuse, both verbally, mentally, emotionally all of those you have been there things happen that you didn't plan for you have your future ahead of you have your plans to become whatever you want to become in life successful person but because of what you would call them now some persons out there who sometimes they are on the rampage of taking revenge on others and they pick on young girls and they did bad things to you and caused you to be a mother before time. You become a mother before time. You didn't plan to be a mother at in your, at a teenage here, in your teenage here, because you have a lot of potential want to be a successful, uh, either a doctor, a nurse, or a teacher. But because of their bad way of thinking and doing things, they did that to you, young girls, and it caused you to become a mother at a early stage of life. When you yourself needed a mother love, a mother support, mother to guide you, you, you trap with a baby which you did not plan for or go out to get, but because of circumstances behind your control it happened and you are trapped with a baby you are 15 plus going to 16 you don't even know how to change a baby diaper or how to breastfeed or to do a lot of stuff to, to care for a baby here for a child because you you yourself are just a child too trying to grow up trying to be some someone something good in life somebody to give you know and sometimes you ask god why 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 god why me why me but if god bring us to the situation he will bring us through the situation yes so if god bring us to the situation he will certainly bring us through this situation. So as you go through life with, sometimes you go through pain, frustration, stress, depression, because that's not what you plan your life to be, but that's what the life that you didn't plan come upon you without even a warning and you are trapped. You have no mother to turn to. You have no father to turn to. So, the only God you can look to. And, and like if you have sisters or aunties who will willing to help. But sometimes auntie struggling, sisters struggling, everybody struggling. And then you find yourself in this situation. And you think that there's no way out. No way out. So I'm going to take my own life. No, don't do that. Just, just. Talk to God about it. Find someone to talk to. Find a guidance counselor. Find a counselor. Find someone who you can trust. A pastor, a teacher, your neighbor who you can trust. And to show them what has happened. 
Because life with Bevron run th went through that situation, didn't plan for a child, was raped at the age of 15 plus and, and get pregnant. And that was my downfall. It threw me off my feet. And because of that, my life went downhill because without a mother dear to guide and to help you. You know, it wasn't easy. Yes, my sister jumped in and was helping, but she herself did need help because she was young. So she didn't have it to help me the way that she wanted to or she could, but she helped me in the best way that she could. God bless her, my sister Joyce. But I am here encouraging young girls who fall in that situation, get trapped by that situation, not to give up, not to lose hope. You can do it. You can make it, right? You can try again. Try and try. You have daycare center in my days. I didn't have daycare center. So you have daycare center. You can leave your baby and go to work. After work, you can go find yourself at um, evening classes that you can do some subjects and uplift yourself. Don't give up, man. The sky is the limit. You can take some subjects and continue on the work part and uplift and uplift and uplift yourself. Rise, rise, rise from the slumber. Don't sit and walla in self-pity and saying that I cannot, I am workless, I can't make it, I can't, you know, life done for me, and then really don't give up. I give up in those days. I said life done, my life was over, I was finished, cursing and so on what I get, and you know, because they were young and didn't know how to deal with situations, so I get a lot of cursing and push down and put down. But still, with God in the vessel, Bevron can smile at this time now. So I'm here to encourage someone who is facing the same thing. A truck is outside and making a lot of sound in the back room. We went through the same situation that Bevron went through. So I am here to encourage you, young girls, and those in their 30s and 40s. Yeah, man, you still find yourself struggling because of that situation. You don't get back on your feet the right way. Because after you have that one child and because you didn't have a proper educational background and things was rough and you get a job and it never worked out and somebody else come and said I will help you with your child and you went with that person and you get another child that's two and that person walk away and you're there struggling with two instead of one is two until you end up with all three struggling struggling and you say life done. No, it's not done. Just pick up the pieces, man. A lot of young girls out there I know who have been hurt, who have been pushed behind the wall, who have been abused and going through a lot. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Just keep pressing on and believe and put your trust in King Jesus and he will make a way where there seems to be no way. God will make a way for you. All right? So don't give up and don't lose hope. Just continue pushing, pushing, pushing forward and telling yourself, say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. So without God, we can't do it. But with God, we can. Yes, you can. Yes, you and you and you I'm talking to. Because I know many of you have gone through what I've gone through and are going through it. But if you're out there and going through abuse and so, there is center that you can go to and call and ask for help. Don't sit in it. Don't sit in abusive relationship. And don't sit because someone did you wrong and did bad things to you. And you just sit and give up and take yourself, put out there, said you, you are lady of the night. Because many of those who call themselves ladies of the night, going out in the night, when you hear their stories, because they was molested when they were young. Yeah, they were molested as age 7, 8, 9, or 10 and 11. They devalue themselves and tell themselves they don't work nothing. So they go out and start doing that. You can still stop doing what you are doing and focus on yourself. Love yourself. And you love yourself, you will stop the certain things and tell yourself, say, enough is enough. I am going to go back to a evening class, get some subjects and try to uplift and elevate myself. Yes, you can do it. There's nothing impossible. All things are possible. If you just put your mind to it and work towards it, you can achieve. Yes, you young girl, you, you, you I'm talking to. Yeah, man, you can do it if you try. You can make it if you try. All right, just try. Just get up, get up. Put your child or your children in a daycare. 
and go and seek a job. It is hard to get work now and no. You have the call center job, maybe you don't like it, but try it, man, try it out. And by doing that to save up some money, you can take some subject, go to evening class after work and uplift yourself. You can do it. There's nothing that you can't do. Once you put your mind to it and work towards it, you can achieve it. Life with Bevron did that. Yeah, man. So try and uplift yourself and elevate yourself and tell yourself, I can do it. Sometimes because of what we went through or uh, we are going through, we just sit down dead and give up and say, so why worry? Why bother? I saw it go, yeah, man. And I saw, I saw me must even born for be bad, lucky and live and... You know, so we not try, we not try to uplift ourselves. We just sink down in a, some terrible relationship, some get cursing, beating, and we just say, we say, say I that me deserve. I saw me feel live. I, I that me deserve. Anything you do to me, I want me deserve. No, you don't deserve that. You deserve better. God did not make you to be a beating stick for anyone. You deserve better. So don't sit and, and accept the bad that they throw to you or throw on you. Walk away from that and try to elevate yourself, uplift yourself, man. And think about the children that you have to say that what happened to me, I don't want to happen to my child or my children. So you're going to set a goal now to work towards your goal that you can set goals for your children, for them to work towards also and make sure that they're okay that no one will be able to do them what they did to you and you and myself who went through it so i'm here to elevate and to uplift you young people who are struggling because i notice most young people are taking their own life and it's not good because of depression because of things they went through but because they don't trust anyone to go and tell them that, you know, that this is happening to me and that is happening to me, you know. So, yeah, I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Don't care what you've been through, what you went through, what you're going through. Don't give up. Keep pushing, keep pressing forward and telling yourself, I am better than that. I am better than this. I can do better. I can try. I can do this. I, you know? Yeah, man. It's not easy. And I'm not going to say it's easy. It's hard. Especially in your teenage life. And you get trapped with a child. And the man walk away from your gun. And you don't have no mother. And you trap out there. You can't pay your rent. You don't have no food. Still don't give up. The God said you must ask. Seek. Knock. So ask someone for help. Go and seek help. Don't give up and say, carry the child. Oh, throw down. No. That child can come be a doctor, a teacher, a nurse who can help you a little more. So no. Don't give up your child. Keep your child and try your best as possible to do what you can to help your child and to help yourself also. Ask for help. Seek for help. If I'm someone to help you with a little start by doing little selling little things, buying some things and sell and save. Or you, you know, get a job and, you know, try to uplift yourself and elevate yourself to help your child or children, all right? So don't lose hope, man. Don't give up and say, boy, there's no way out. Yes, there's a way out. Don't let the enemy trick you and tell you, say, there's no way out. The best way is to end your L-I-F-E. No, nothing like that. Not no go so. You understand? So don't feel trapped and feel like, me can't get out of this. Me life over, me life in. No, it no in. Your life is still there. I am a living proof of that. I used to think that way too. I used to think that my life came because I was trapped with a baby and myself needed a mother. Can you imagine? At the age of 15 plus going 16, I was going to be 16 the 3rd of August and it happened May. So I was still in my 15, not, over, not 16 yet. So I was trapped there. And I was wondering and pondering, <laughs> I don't know where to turn, I don't know even what the man or anything, you know, so I was trapped in that terrible situation. So I know many young girls are trapped in that situation also, but in those times you think it's a hen of the road and life hand, but to God be the glory, life with everyone is here, can motivate someone else, can uplift someone else by telling them my story. That they can rise, rise, rise above the hearts, you know? Because if God bring us to the situation, he can bring us through the situation. I always remember that. So if God bring you, 
you and you to the situation, you can bring you through the situation. All right. So don't give up and say that there's no hope. There's no way out. There is always a way when it seems like there is no way. God will make a way for you. Just take him as your best friend. Pray. They, they used to say, God no answer sinner's prayer. God answer everybody's prayer. He said he came to save those who are lost. He did not come to save those who already save our righteous. He come to save those who are lost. So don't give up and don't lose hope. Because God is always by our side when we think that we have no way out. There is some way out. So I hope you listen to my word and for all those who young people are depressed, going through depression, going through a bad situation at this moment, trapped with a child that you did not plan for, but it happened. Don't give up. Daycare is there. Put that child in the daycare center and go and work and save and help yourself and your child. It can happen. Remember to remember to like, comment, and share. All right. Thank you all my YouTube family who always supporting Life with Bev Brown by Happy over page. Because of what was happening in my community, we don't get back any light, but we get back little service. So we are using it. So you know, Life with Bev Brown, we touch, touch base, with, base with everyone and go over back your YouTube page and show you back some love. In Monday week here, Bev Brown, we do that. All right. So yeah, man, enough love, enough blessing to you all, my YouTube family. Thanks for your love, your support. Uh, when I wasn't on YouTube, you are supporting life with Bev Brown. Can turn to, to show Bev Brown love as she show you about love and respect. Enough love and blessing to life with Miss, Miss Bev Production, my new phone I'm using. I understand fully much about it. I don't know if I know how to go on the live yet. I'm going to try it Monday week to go on live here. <laughs> But everything is up and running. I love it so much. Enough love and blessing, Miss Bev Production. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Word of encouragement to young people, you know. And even adults also who went through those phases in their teens and still find it hard and difficult to deal with, deal with life because of the past. We have to let go of our past and go forward with the future. Not true. So, just the other day I learned to let go of my past. Not gonna say yes, no, it was a struggle because things that happened, what you didn't want to happen, happened, and it was a struggle. But to God be the glory, great things you had done. Bev Brown is up and running. Peace out, love you guys. Enough love and blessing. I'm the out here is very, very hot. I'm sweating, time is burning, burning. All right, peace out, love you guys. Bev Brown said that one love.